I will command your bodyguard to shoot you. Ama nitoe his pepo niweke kwa mke wako. Uki respect buduki, u respect this power. This power is built. Ni vile tu unacheza. Ile serikali ilikuwa kwa ilitaka kuchukua hiyo kiwanja. Sasa hii tena imekuja. You want to take my land? How? Naitwa James Maina. Hata nikakufa leo mimi, hiyo kiwanja itawakula. Mackenzie alisema itawalamba. Mimi nasema itawakula. It appears that the arrow of controversy that previously struck Pastor Ezekiel's church has now found its mark on Pastor Nganga of Neno Evangelism Center. Pastor Nganga took to live television to vent his frustration, alleging that his ministry is facing government interference. He boldly claimed that a certain high-ranking government officials within President Ruto's government have been actively working against him and even threatening to seize the prime property located along Haile Selassie Avenue in Nairobi where his church stands. Hello, my name is Chief Okuzo from Plug TV. Inaweza kutuma kwako. Nataka kujua jina huyo minister anataka kuchukua. Nataka nitakuchuguza next week nitakuwa Nairobi. Nitachuguza mpaka nijue ni nani. Niadike jina lako hivi nikutupe. Nione ndio kesho ingine hautacheza na watumishi wa Bwana. Cheza na hawa wanapuliza, hawa mnaobana nao. Hawa mko nao kwa maandamano. Uliniona mimi huko? Uliniona siku moja nilikualika kwa ofisi ya kwa kanisa yangu mimi. We. Mimi ni ex prisoner. Na mimi Mungu ananipenda. Ameniita mimi na kwa waizi, wale wazuri na digiri na utajiri kwenda kanisa yenu. Kwenda huko. Mimi nataka hawa wa, hawa wafuta banki na malaya. Hawa shetani anasubua ndio mimi nataka. Nyinyi wazuri don't vote for me. During his impassioned address, Pastor Nganga made it clear that he would not back down without a fight. He sternly warned that anyone attempting to enroach upon his land would face dire consequences that will be jotted down in history books. Waizi hawa. Mimi nitasema sababu I don't care you. Whoever is undermining that plot, ujue utakula maini yako. Kama ukimaliza vizuri Mungu hakuniita. Kida kitu kinaniuma mimi kabisa ni hiyo kiwaja. Amuweska na degree zenu. Mimi ni, ni kitoka jela mko wapi? Nimehangaisha watu na buduki. Nimehangaisha watu na visu. Nimeshika watu geta. Sijui watu gani mimi nimeua. Alafu Mungu ameniokoa anipe mahali ni mjegea madhabahu. Ile serikali ilikuwa kwa ilitaka kuchukua hiyo kiwaja. Sasa hii tena imekuja. Im, you want to take my land? How? Naitwa James Maina. Hata nikakufa leo mimi, hiyo kiwaja itawakula. Mackenzie alisema itawalamba. Mimi nasema itawakula. Sometimes respect God. Si kiwaja yangu mimi imeandikwa neno Evangelism Center. Any minister who is undermining this plot. I'm giving you strictly warning. Mimi sirika yako hatukusoma na wewe shule moja. Mimi sikunywa maziwa ya, ya, ya nyayo. I know my God. I wish in the wakati nilikuwa na beba buduki nikukuta ndio ujue inaniuma kabisa sasa naenda kotini nimeitwa kotini kiwaja ya Mungu na zote hizi mmechukua mashaba yote mmechukua hizi ma millions acres mko nazo kila mahali kwa nini msiende mkate hiyo hey he also issued a hefty demand to potential land acquirers, stating that they must cough up to a staggering 10 billion Kenyan shillings if they wished to take ownership of the property. If you want that land, give me 10 billion. Give me 10 billion if you want. 10 billion if you note that I swear before God, hauta wacha mtoto. Najua kesho mnaesa muka mukazima TV. Iyo kiwaja hata mukazima. Iyo mkichukua mungu wako nita. Kile mutaona mjawai kuona. I swear before God. Naitua James Maina. Sasa mimi ni mzee. 
Ato, ato ni kakoseo kaniua You are to be blamed Umeua mse Ato kaniua Umeua mse Inaniumiza sana In, Mimi nasikia na umia sana I wish mungu anipatie panga ni katakate watu Kiwaja nimepata nimetoka jela Nimengangana na mkokoteni Nimengangana, nimengangana Tumechanga Kiwaja nikanunua Na njini onye mungu na mashaba Mejasa mashaba dunia zima Surprisingly, Pastor Nganga hinted that President William Ruto may not be fully aware of the actions of his subordinates. He expressed his intentions to seek an audience with the president upon his return to the country with the aim of discussing the alleged plot to wrest his land from him. As long as you are touching the plot of God, kama ni yagu mimi wea chukua, lakini kama ni ya mungu nitairida, Nitairida mpaka mwisho. Nagojia mfadi me arudi hiyo safari. Nyeze ni kamulize. Ni mulize kiwajia hii sasa. He's my friend. Nita mulize, mulize kiwajia hii unachukua ya nini. Na mi nafikiri hajui. Hajui hiyo kiwajia unachukua. Hajui. Sababu ata hile government iliku wako. Ye alijua walitaka kuchukua. Sasa mi nafikiri hajui, nitaeda kwake, nitamuabia vile muna ni adamaina. Then muna kaa kitako hapo, muna, muna tegeneza vile muna chukua broti hiyo. Iyo mkichukua mungu wako ni ita. Iyo, I swear before God, kwanda itapiga mawe kwenye, wale wakuba muna ni adamaina. Memaliza hiyo, kisho muna kujie. But why are they fighting Pastor Nganga this much? Do you think they will manage to grab this land considering the fact that over three uh, uh, leadership or rather regimes have tried grabbing this land but failed terribly? It all started during Moy's time but unfortunately Moy's government failed to take this land from him. Then came in Kibaki's government which also tried the same script of taking this land from Pastanganga, but they failed terribly. Then Uhuru Kenyatta came, the same also was tried, but they failed terribly. And right now Ruto is in government, and they are also trying the same script. Do you think they will manage uh, to take this land from Pastanganga? What are your thoughts? Leave your thoughts in our comment section. That is it for now. Thanks for watching. Let's see you next time. Bye-bye.